In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can turn our animation into a video file, which can then be shared online. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the video is going to be the right length. At the bottom, I've got my timeline and I can actually see the animation. I can click play at the bottom and it will take me through the animation. And as you can see, there's a lot of dead animation at the end where nothing's happening. So I don't need to have any part of this in my animation file. If I press pause and move the timeline all the way back, I can see the actual animation ends at about 63 frames in. I have the start number, which is where the film's going to start, frame one, and I have the end number. And we can see that 63 is about where it ends, so I can click on that and type 63. And now, if I press play, I can see the animation plays through and there's no excess time at the end. Once you've got your animation time sorted out, we need to go and set up the animation settings, or the render settings. So on the right hand side, we're finding the printer tab. And this is going to allow us to set up the output file to be the right size and be saved to the right location. The three little dots with the lines next to them allow me to pick different settings. So you could set it up for 4K or uh, HD or even old TV PAL mode if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave the default settings. And then down here under output, we can actually allocate the place on the drive where it's going to save it. So for me, it's going to be the C temp folder. You might want to click and change this to change to your own folder. Under file format, we don't want to output a PNG, which is an image file. What we want to output is an FF, FF MPEG video file. And now I've got all those things set up, I can actually render the animation. If I go to the top here, render, and I click render animation, you can see it's going to play the animation one frame at a time. And what this is doing is it's also telling you how long each frame takes. So each frame that we're rendering at the moment is taking about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 of a second. And you can see one by one, the frames are being built up. And as we come to the end of the animation, we'll see it stops. So the file has been output, and we can go and see it in the temp folder. And you can see it there. There is the film that's been output, the temp folder. So it's starting at frame one, going all the way through to frame 63. And if you double click on this, we can actually see the whole video playing at once.